everyone, Chris Janet here for Card Player TV, and it's the end of day two of the $25,000 buy-in World Poker Tour Championship event. There are just over 160 players remaining going into day three tomorrow. One of the players near the top of the chip counts is Elke Graspier. We caught up with him just before the last level of play. All right, Elke, you had a good level. Can you tell me about the big hand? Uh, the big hand happened when the, the C2 raises like early position, and I found his queen in the button, so I called her 4,500, I think it was. And the big blind also, call, also calls. And uh, flop comes jack and nine rainbow, and they both check to me. And I, like, I don't want to be trapped. I don't want to have to fold my hand, and we're pretty deep. And I mean, like, so I just check, I just check behind because I thought he's there really weak and can always see it on the turn. And I, I don't want to get checked with on that flop. It kind of sucks because I would have to call, but I can't know why I had so much in the end. And the turn comes in eight offsuit. Uh, now there's two diamonds, and the big line bets out 15,000, and the initial raise raised to 40,000. And at that point, I really didn't think the initial raise would have king queen because. I didn't think he would check check that flop when he like I guess I, I don't I don't check that flop when I raise pre flop with King Queen so I thought he's most likely had a queen and the first guy maybe had like there's so many combo draws they can have with a queen and they can also have like a set or something so I called the forty thousand so the so did the big blind and River came off suit King so I was the nuts and then the big blind checks and like I shove for more than the pot for he puts me all in so I and they turned out they both had king-queen, so I got pretty lucky on the river, but... Oh, they both had king-queen, they both that's flopped what, that's it? What that guy said. That's what they said, I guess, but uh, I didn't see any of their hand because I, I went all in over the top and a big blind tank for a bit and four leads, so yeah, it was a huge hand. After play ended, we caught up with Jeff Matson, who's also near the top of the chip counts. All right, Jeff, what's this I hear about you running hot and three-barrel bluffing, working? Tell me yeah. what's going on. Yeah, it was a really good day. I mean, uh, I kept making the nuts. You know, I played well, but I was definitely getting good cards. You know, I triple barrel bluffed a couple times, and it worked. And uh, uh, the last level I bluffed Mattisau, I three bet on preflop, and he folded ace queen, and I had, like jack high. So I don't know. I mean, you know, when you're getting cards, it kind of gives you confidence to make some plays. And I had a lot. I had a big stack, so I could kind of lean on people. But really, honestly, I, I, I had a, just a few huge hands. You know, so. What's your chip stack at like going into day three? Uh, Five hundred thousand. So, now, do, are you guys redrawing tables? Uh, yeah, I think so. So I had a really tough table today, actually. I mean, it's not like I had an easy table. I was just kind of getting cards. You know, I had Greenstein, Mattisau, Letterer. Um, you know, a lot of tough players today. So kind of just lucky I survived it. But you know, I got really good cards. So any, you know, most people would have as much as me. But I made a couple good plays. So. I'd say a few three barrel bluffs are some pretty good plays. Now, I guess any table that you get here is going to be tough with all the pros, right? Yeah. I mean, you look around, it's not like there's any soft tables. There's at least three or four big-name pros. So my table was tough, but, uh, you know, you look around, this tournament's not going to be easy to win, even if I get good cards. So I have to keep playing well. Steve Berloakis had a great end to the day. We talked to him after play ended. All right, Steve, tell me about the last hand of the day today. Um, well, for the second night in a row, I doubled up on the last hand of the day, and uh, this time... Kathy Liebert raised it up to 6,000 at 1 and 2,000. I decided to call on the button with ace-2 of clubs. Big Blind, who's been uh, really, really playing every pot, going crazy all day long, uh, calls. And the flop comes queen-10-8 with three clubs, so I got the nuts other than a straight flush. Um, they both checked me. I decided to bet because they're both really deep stack. I just want to try to get some action here. And uh, crazy guy, check calls. Turn comes another club, which I obviously don't like. Be I think it might ruin your action. Uh, yeah, I think it might kill my action. I'm hoping that he's got a queen. He's going to pay me off. But uh, he decides to bet into me, which like 25,000. And uh, I called the slow play. I had position on him uh, in the river. Now there's 100,000 in the pot, or 95,000 to be exact. And he uh, and he bets all in for about 170,000. And the only hand I can lose to is straight flush. So obviously I call right away. And he. Uh, he just had nothing. He had jack deuce of clubs with a jack of clubs, so he had the third nuts. And, uh, it's almost like he was mad that the next you. club came on the turn. He was like, well, I'm all in or something. Yeah, he, he just he's the type of player who uh, just lost his patience. He had all the chips, and then he just either wanted to come back tomorrow with all the chips or go home, and right. he doesn't want to come back short stack. A lot of players do that, which I don't think makes any damn sense. But Yeah. So you doubled up in the last hand on both nights. Now, Justin said he was... Sweating, Justin Smith, he's over here. He said he's sweating your cards. Is he good luck or what? Yeah, he's a good sweater. Uh, I'm a good sweater for him, too. One time I went over to his house, and he, uh, I started sweating him in four and 800 
uh, eight game mixed on Poker Stars, and he wins about thirty thousand straight without losing a hand. <laughs> so then uh, we're gonna have to start paying each other, and start sweating each Definitely. other. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back for day three of the WPT Championship tomorrow. I'm Christiana for Card Player TV.